Play new content first on PS4. Oh, get it first on PS4. No, get it first on the PC. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this Friday's edition of the live stream. Again, for all of you that don't know me, my name is Joe. I'm Wesley. He is Wesley. One and thanks, only. Thanks for joining us. We're going to do things a little bit differently this live stream in the sense that we're not just going to report news or report AVA news, but we're actually going to talk about E3. And our current predictions. Right, Wes? Yes. It is like Christmas time for game nerds. Oh, my God. <laughs> you look so excited. You're I like, am oh, always yes. excited. Oh. Um, oh. Back in the day, all right, because I am that old. Mm. I You're would, not that old. Stop. Oh, whatever. Um, back in the day, I would actually re request off time from off from work um, when I was at my first job. Just Which because. Was what? what was your first job? I was a... I worked in a restaurant. Mm. I was a dishwasher, busboy. Uh, that's a story for another day. Nonetheless, yes, I worked in a restaurant. Um, and I would take off time specifically so I could sit and just indulge the greatness that is E3. I did that here when Fallout 4 came out. 
I took a personal day just to be able to wake up and play it all day. Worth it. Dude, it was. Worth it. It was absolutely worth it. And I thought I'd get burnt out, but no. For all eight hours, I looked at my, my watch. I'm like, oh, I got to go pick up my daughter from daycare now. Like, it, Time flew. It oh, crazy. absolutely. Absolutely uh, crazy. Speaking of Fallout, Roll so on. we are going to talk about our predictions, what we'd like to see, what we think might happen. How about a game that's actually worth it? Um, well, hold on. Okay, so we're going to dive in. Let's just start with Bethesda. Okay. So they're going to be the big ones in the room here, okay? Uh, just because... Last year they came out the the gate swinging and in a miss. It was a big miss when that game Swing dropped. Um, so I'm gonna throw this out there. I want to see the Evil Within three. All right. You think that, it's too soon though? I no. mean, it feels like the Evil Within two just came out. And if you think back, they were spaced two years apart. All right. And it's been so, almost two years. It has been almost two years. Where do you think? I know you and I kind of had our own private discussions on this, but where do you think they're going to take off? Spoilers so, for anybody who has not played The Evil Within and is, in, and is interested. So, big spoilers. So, you've beaten two, correct? Yes. Okay. I so, have beaten. You have beaten. The two. The two. Um, so, if, if you noticed throughout the entire game, um, where was Ruvik? So, Ruvik was the main antagonist of The Evil Within. Maybe he was taking a nappy. Oh, no. You know, he was have, getting ready. Having a nice nap nap. What, what blew my mind is he was not taking a nap. All right, let me tell you. All right. <laughs> well, I'll tell no, you what. He was prepping to scare me a little bit more. Yeah. All right. Hello to Bart and A-Dubs, by the way. Oh, Thanks welcome. for joining, guys. Welcome. Um, anyways. Uh, he was gone the entire game. So it was a very, very big cliffhanger, in my opinion, mm -hmm. on the first one. Um, because if you recall, uh, Leslie, who was a mental patient, um, at the end of the game, before you actually fought Ruvik, he consumed himself into Leslie. So Leslie Poor essentially Leslie. became... He had a lot going for him. He did. He did. All right. He had, what was, oh, what was her name? The one girl she took care of him, he had it made. All right. He had a maid or had no, it made. had it made. Wow. I can't remember her name. I don't know, man. The the doctor, right? No. No, it was the undercover cop. Oh. Who what really wasn't a cop. <gasps> dun dun dun. Oh no, she worked for the company. Yeah. That's right. She um, was private security for the company and then she went undercover as a police officer and then you know, she ends up getting remorse, and then she realizes I made a stupid mistake. I'm in love with the officer who's still in love with his wife. Oh, she's still alive. Oh, she threw herself into the system. Oh, God. Sounds like my soap operas. All right. <laughs> you watch look. soap operas? Shh. Don't tell like me. Like All that. My Children? All My Children. Is it what? your favorite? General Hospital. <laughs> All right. Um, let me tell you, that acting is phenomenal. I don't know, man. The stories are grand, I too. Just, I just can't. So I many, can't get into soap operas. So many twists and turns. I just can't do it. But speaking of twists and turns, that game threw a lot of twists and turns at me. Um, well, so... I mean, that was kind of the point. Um, that was one of the few games that actually caused me to sweat while playing. <laughs> Not because it was, like, scary, but it was, it was like, in terms of the suspense. Like, you're in the middle of a situation where it's very fast-paced, especially in boss battles. You're limited on ammo. There's certain things you need to do to be able to take down the boss, but you have to get to certain areas of the map in order to do it. It was just, it was very, very suspenseful. And yes, it made my palms sweat significantly. Um, so if they can do that again with the third one, I will probably play it without hesitation. Just saying. Most definitely. Uh, I felt like I needed blood pressure medication when I was playing those games, let me tell you. Did you go okay. to the doctor? I did not. All What's right. ailing I, you, son? I'm uh, playing the Evil Within 2 and um, I can't sleep at night. I can't sleep. I'm scared. He jumped out at me. Everything I pick up slips out of my fingers because my hands are too wet. <laughs> I'm, I'm Son, that's for a different Son. reason. Okay, I gotta go now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's the that's the big one from Bethesda that I would like to see. What would you like to see, Joe? Uh, let me let me hear what you. Not, not a terrible Fallout game. That's what I'd like to see. I don't. But, and that's okay. what everybody's thinking. So How about not Fallout Mobile. Thanks, Blizzard, for setting that standard. I mean, I know they have the Vault game. For Android and iPhone? Which was, it's actually very popular. I mean, it was great. I played it for like a good month or so after it came out. And then I didn't realize that time keeps on spinning when you're not in the game. And I, I opened it back up after like a day. Um, 
I had all sorts of things inside my vault just murdering my entire, all of my <laughs> civilians, and I'm like, I'm done. Death stalkers. <laughs> there was like seven death stalkers and not enough people to fight them off. Everybody was dying. Everything was on fire. I'm like, you know what? This is clearly a vault that should not exist right now, so I'm just going to let nature take its course. <laughs> and then I uninstalled the game. I just completely uninstalled it. I was done. Yeah, too much time needed to go into that. I, I don't have that kind of time. Sure. All right. So as far um, as other E3 predictions, like, what other big titles would you anticipate that they're going to to so, talk about at E3? We're talking about Bethesda. Yeah, so. I know. Oh, okay. All right. Um, you think maybe so, they're, they're ever going to extend the Skyrim universe? Well, they did announce the Elder Scrolls Six <laughs> last year. However, it's been confirmed by a lot of people that it will not be there. Um, hello, hello. Rudy. Hello, Thank Rudy. You and he for, says Doom Eternal. Uh, that is going to be the showcase. That's going to be that badass. That will be the showcase. Uh, let me tell you, okay? So I watched, uh, it was not too long ago, it was like a 45-minute video because, you know, I like my long videos about games upcoming. You and I have had discussions mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> and let me tell you, the things that they showed are just um, it, amazing. So much they upgraded so much. They've given the fans so much more. And it's honestly, it's true fan service. So Is it the, the dog's pajamas? Is the cat's meow. Okay. I think it's the dog's pajamas. Cat, cat's pajamas. Get oh, it right. Uh, I want it to be a dog. What kind of dog? Uh, I don't know. Shih Tzu. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, but it's, it's really big fan service. So they took... Everything that the fans said, this is freaking awesome, made it better, and took everything the fans, what I've seen, okay, took okay. everything the fans didn't care for, didn't take it away, but improved on it to have the fans enjoy it more. I just think it's funny that if you, like, if you check out all of the media outlets that are talking about E3 predictions, one of the things that a majority of people are all saying in unison is Bethesda announces Oblivion. Again. Or Elder Scrolls. Again. Because they already announced it. Now they're going to announce it again. And I'm sure they probably have plenty of material to be able to show off and demonstrate what the game's going to be like. I just hope it's not one of those situations where, um, yeah, this is what it's supposed to look like, but it's not actually going to look like that upon release. So have fun. That's where I'm hoping it's not going to be. I want to see Starfield. <sighs> I don't know, man. What? I don't know. I just, maybe it's just me recently and, and the way that video game releases have been, but it's really difficult for me to get super excited over something until it's actually tangible and I can play it. Previews don't mean anything to me anymore. Oblivion the card game. I'd play. Says Rurudu. I would too. I you would know, play. I was dying for them to come out with an official Gwent card game and they never did. So what I did was I found somebody online that created PDF versions of all the cards to scale. Okay. Found a company that would print card stock for me. To scale. Okay. I was going to do the whole thing uh, between me and a few coworkers here. It ended up being like an $85 investment to get a full working Gwent deck. Okay. Like, or right. two Gwent decks, not okay. all three. I just never pulled the trigger on it. Why? I don't know. I really feel like I should have. I feel like it would have been something that I would have been like, I really enjoy that. I think I'm going to do it some more. <laughs> <laughs> i'll tell you what you pull that trigger all right we'll, we'll set up a day mm -hmm. all right and we will we'll get some some brewskis oh man and we will play gwent you said brewskis i said brewskis i don't know if i can trust you anymore i'm a br bruh i don't know if i can trust you i don't know how i feel about starfield shut up i do I'm because done i'm just not getting i'm not getting my hopes up anymore that's all right the problem. that's fine like i have my scars let them heal my my dreams have been shattered my entire life. So you know what, dude? Oh, bring it on. About, do you want to talk about it? What kind of dreams? Oh well, you know, I dreamed of being a model, and then you know, <laughs> I mean, you could be a butt kids model. And, kids and triple cheeseburgers from Swenson's happened. Let me tell you. You could just be a buttocks model, if you want. Next subject. <laughs> Done. Bad thing about having electronics sitting in front of you in a live stream while drinking water is the risk that you could spit it out all over your notebook. <laughs> so you can um, still be the before surgery model. <laughs> hey. All right. <laughs> He's not wrong. I could strike a pose. Uh, 
We need a Wesley Bra emote. I, I actually do have one of those on my desktop at home. Are you kidding me? I will put it in the Discord tonight. <laughs> Why? You, you Are you serious? I actually, You're serious? Actually, it's my actual... So, like, it's my actual Twitch like, profile picture. Right, yeah. Bruh. Really, like, it, that's, we call that the angry Wesley face. It's really great. West Rage is what it's called. Hey, West um, Rage? Yes. I feel um, like that, that would be, like, a hell of a music festival. You guys want to go to West Rage? Bruh. Have you Chad met McNabb me? said he'd play it. Chad Mc... Gwen. All right. Okay. On All Facebook. Right. Boom. There we go. Hi, Chad. How's it going? There we go. Hmm. Um, so yes. from Bethesda, uh, I do know that Fallout 76 is going to be there. Um, they, from what I've heard, they made a lot of improvements. Um, I want to go If away. it goes, <sighs> let me finish. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, they've made a lot of improvements. If it goes on sale, I'll pick it up for twenty dollars, most definitely. Um, so will you, Joe? Okay. Let me tell you. Fallout 76? For 20 bucks, yes. I already have it. I thought you got rid... Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> That's right. You missed the return window. <laughs> Rookie. I paid for um, a bunch of very, very expensive collectibles. And paperweights. <laughs> and dust collectors. Uh, and not dream catchers, but dream killers. Do they have that? Do those exist? Yeah, it's called Gerard. Um, <laughs> 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 Boom! Number one of the stream. If he's watching, you know he just hung his head down all the way to the bottom of his desk. Uh, welcome, welcome, Alien Icon. Uh, 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 she said she loves those paperweights. Uh, I, I, huh. I bet you do, sweetie. <laughs> I bet you do. Um, but uh, I'm not. I'm really not sure what to expect from uh, Bethesda. Um, besides the the couple things that are pure kind disappointment. Of the, hey, look, I go into it optimi- Where's your optimism? Dude, it died. You're gonna Fallout see. 76. You're gonna see me flip real quick. Dude, it died. I was so excited for when Fallout seventy six uh, came out. You could talk to Casey. I was like, oh man, online. There's so many possibilities. Well, she doesn't like playing online, but she's like, if the game's good enough, I'll do it. Obviously, it's Fallout. And then when it grew into the flaming dumpster fire that it is today, we just never even touched it. Uh, the Pan Man zero two two six. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, he says, I have been talking in the wrong chat this whole time. I was on YouTube chat, <laughs> FML. Well, Sorry, dude. You're here now. Yes, thank so you. So please. Welcome. How please. are you? Please. I've got a question for you, though, the pan man. That makes me wonder if there's other people in our YouTube chat right now. What would you like to see from Bethesda at this year's E3? Please yeah, let us know. Um, real quick, though. Did Do we you know anybody by the name of Mistaken Shadow? Wesley is a sexy man. Definitely would take him out for a pizza. Oh, boy. Do I want a prize if I guess the restaurant? Oh, my God. What is with people and think I'm, thinking I'm beautiful? There's somebody else not too long ago, beautiful. though. Just send me winky faces and you're stuff. Beautiful. Oh, my. Look, all right. Buy me Swenson's and I'm there. Okay. Um, <laughs> YouTube has big stink. <laughs> uh <laughs> Chad McNabb said, "When uh, seventy six came out and failed, that's where my dreams died." Yeah, okay. see, same here. I'm, I'm I'm on board with Chad here because I was super optimistic for that, and then or for that release, and then when they came out with it, it's a big steaming pile. And I'm not alone in this thought process. We all know that. And then add insult to injury, they're like, "Hey, for those of you that bought the special edition, here's a ten dollar nylon bag. Enjoy." They might as well just take in like a shopping cart bag or like a shopping bag, like a plastic bag, and just put Bethesda on it, like painted it. Like, here you go. <laughs> plastic bags will survive a nuclear fall. Give them a here. chance. I'm done with you. <laughs> Rue two. How about old Doom games? Doom games with ray tracing. Doom. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, did you actually see that somebody uh, did a reboot on Doom with ray tracing? Oh, I saw that. Uh, I know. Listen, last time we talked about ga old games getting ray tracing, you literally just. You took a dump all over my dreams, all right? I took a dump on the on Witcher 3 with ray tracing because there was barely a difference. Was that like, is a lie. I'm shadows. done with you. No. Look at this bush with ray tracing. It's still a bush. It still has shadows. Ray tracing is great. for The whole point of ray tracing was not just to create realistic shadows. It was to help developers Immersion. streamline shadow creation in gaming. Gaming. China. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying say is here. you broke my heart for the third time. Okay. I'm sorry. I can always piece it back together. Hello, Pan Man. You, you are do. mistaken shadow. Got it. So which one's your alter ego? 
Which one's Ooh. your superhero name? That's what I want to know. And as a dad as E3, and as dad as E3, it has already been said it won't be there but Elder Scrolls. But one can hope. All right. And here... And here's $5 <laughs> of in-game currency because you didn't <laughs> get your back. <laughs> um, Chad McNabb said, I want more DLCs for Fallout 4. Um, that's wishful thinking. Hey, Recon um, Spartan. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Mm. Welcome. Uh, Maria says it'll always lower shadow details in games. And then videos and other audience. Yeah, I think he said that last week. Yeah. And I do too. That's like the first thing I'll drop down if I have to sacrifice any level of graphics output for frame rates. Ooh, look at this. All right, so Jimmy Mills. All right, top fa top fan. All right, Jimmy Mills. What about Starfield? Why, thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you. Okay? James, why? Thank you. I just called you. him down. All right? Why would you do this? Let's get, let's get ready to rumble here, okay? <sighs> that was New a really IP. good game. No. Why did they stop that series? What? Was that before your time? Ready to rumble? Dreamcast? Yeah. Oh, I wow. My time. I'm sorry. Um, you anyways. You suck! Listen. Jackass! Okay? Listen. All right? I'm about to go on a tangent here. New IP. All right? Space. Space. Space! All right? So when I say that, we need to have the meme where it takes me saying space, and then it just, like, flips my head into space. You've seen those. Just twirls. All right? Or plays like the... Beep, 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 yeah, no, exactly. Beep, 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 beep. Exactly. Okay. James Starfield. All right, man. Let me let me tell you. Star right. Starfield might be a Star Trek type game, but since we're on the subject of Star Trek, I am super pumped for when Picard starts. Did you hear about that? No. They're coming out with a Star Trek TV series called Star Trek Picard. Oh, I think I heard about that. Then Patrick Stewart. Ooh. Yeah. Right. Ooh. They're doing a full TV series on on Picard. Okay. So I'm 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 much excited. Much excited. Such trek. Much wow. Many Picards. <laughs> um, so, I would like to move away from Bethesda now. Uh, we spent uh, a little too much time on it because mm. it probably will not blow me away. Um, <laughs> blow me away. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Blew me away. Um, <laughs> the Picard trailer made my nips solid. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Who calls them nips anymore? Seriously. <laughs> nips <laughs> and of all things that's that's what you you enter the discussion with gerard the, the picard trailer made your nips solid of all things not even like a, a hello just i have a chance to talk about my nips that or talk about my hairline and bosley sure. <laughs> hey dubs um that's in a private chat and that requires actual american currency Ooh, alien icon gerard trying too hard yet again <laughs> <laughs> True. And outside of his uh, his romance. That's wow. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Just insane. Destroyed. Who would have thought? So I want to move to Microsoft. To where? A different yeah. state? Please no. do. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Oof. Oh, my heart hurts. Oh, it's okay. Uh, what if Gerard later. W123 isn't your Gerard? Well, he's my Gerard now, okay? No, like not the Gerard that works here. I know. I'm. That's what I'm saying. What if, he's and then, Gerard like, the real Jar jumps on, and it's like Jar W one three two, and he's like, "Hey guys." A Dub said, "Show us your nips, Joe. I'll trade you a laptop for nip picks." <laughs> <laughs> that's wow. a steal. That's a that's a that's a solid steal. I mean, I'm I'm getting the sense here though that by you asking me to show you that, it is literally just you. So can't please everybody. All right, you and your nips can you know talk over there. I'd like to talk about Microsoft though, okay? Why? The wise words of Joe. I want you to lead this. I want you to lead us to victory. Well, yeah, Show lead, me. Lead us to victory. Instead, you're leading us into a pit of death. Sh you're leading me into a <laughs> pit of nitpicks. <laughs> it's the nitpick pit. I'm done. Go. Oh. Uh, do you know Microsoft the way? Nips. Okay. Yes. All right. Phil Micros Spencer's going to come out. hard, expensive nips. Cheese nips? Yeah. No. Yeah. Money nips. Phil Steam Spencer's nips, gonna because Microsoft out. announced that they're releasing more of their games on Steam. Did you hear about that? I did, and let me tell you, all right? Boom! In your face, Epic. I hate you. I know, right? Um, Another so... thing about being in your face, so... You probably see this horseman figurine right here? Did we, I, you know, did we We're even... giving it away. Yeah. 
Yo, get on, get in on this action, okay? Giving it away. It's the Asus Horseman. Um, real quick, the Pan Man zero two two six said, "Move back down south." <laughs> Not a chance. Um, I like being home. The crowd is demanding Man. nips, Wesley, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> Horseman nips. Oh my god! <laughs> what have we done? Everyone's just talking about nips. Can confirm that you cannot see nips. I mean, if if you win it and you really have the desire to do so, you could probably create some nips. Create the nips if you want to. The Wesley, you look man. really excited about it. Someone just show some nips. All right. Wait, Gerard one three two. Hey guys. Oh damn it. <laughs> Logged into two separate browsers. Platinum nips, Kyle Emerson. Okay. Or is this going to be a? N <sighs> All right. Anyways, welcome to this week's nip session. <laughs> your nips. I'm your my host, Tit Nipplesen. Hey, oh. So about that E3 conference, everybody. <laughs> Let me tell you. Um. So I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna come out the gate with a bombshell, dude. <laughs> it does. That's the um, first time I've ever seen A-Dubs apologize. I'm sorry for what I've done. You give me genuine laughs, okay? Who? A-Dubs. Yeah, he does. He, well, he just did. But you first, okay? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, Juke. Excuse me? Look at me because I touched your arm. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Because you didn't rub it. A touch is not oh. enough. I told you, <sighs> if, I, if I relearn how to play the saxophone and I come to the office, I will play Careless Whisper while walking down the hallways. And I'm going to tell you. I expect you to jump in and sing the vocals almost immediately. I, I got you, fam. Okay. Um, so what if Microsoft announces the new console? I'm coming out the gate with a bombshell. What if Sony announces? Uh, Sony's not going to be at E3. Oh, because they're doing their own conference. Uh, if you if you say own con if you okay own conference is hey let's announce everything on Twitter because <coughs> that that's doing? that yes. So Death Stranding got its uh, release date, and that was on Twitter. Um, Never Last of Us again. Two, please, please, plus. Um, the Last of Us Two. Yes. Starring none other than Norman Reedus. No, no, <laughs> no. That's Death Stranding. No, he's going to star in The Last of Us Two as well. No. He's going to play the dog's voice. No. <laughs> what do you think, Sparky? Bark. Bark. <laughs> Voiced by Norman Reedus. Bark. Actually, real quick, did you did you see how many people, like how many big names are in Death Stranding? Oh yeah, they did that for a reason. This is this is supposed to be like Woof. Hideo Kojima's like masterpiece. This is supposed to be the game he always wanted to create under Konami and they stifled the hell out of his creativity. Well, we did get Metal Gear Solid. I well, but that's the thing. They they made him change a lot about it though. Oh yeah! Like every Metal, Se I'm, Metal Gear Solid game he's come out with has been modified. Well, I was the original idea. when we were talking about Metal, uh, Metal Gear Solid the other day. Um, what I meant to tell you, and then we just kind of parted ways. Uh, I got to the point of the Phantom Pain where I did not finish it because that is when they pretty much said, "No, you're done." And you can clearly tell because it it becomes so repetitive. So the game does have a lot of repetitive aspects to it, but there's story to it. You know. Um, I played, I put 36 hours into the Phantom Pain, hoping that, like, the storyline was going to be worth it, only to find out in the end it wasn't worth it. So the game's been out long enough for us to talk about it, right? I've, I've not beaten it, but you can spoil it for me. Okay, That's so basically fine. what ends up happening is that... Spoilers. Yes, spoilers of the Phantom Pain if you haven't played it. At the end of the game, you realize that you're actually not Big Boss. Oh. That you were a guy mm. that went to the hospital with Big Boss at the time that he was admitted, and they did revolutionary surgery to map your face to look exactly like Big Boss. Oh, really? So you remember okay. the character you make at the beginning of the game? Yeah. That's that's who you, the person is. It was all a transition into multiplayer. That's oh, really? Sure. And also, because okay. <coughs> well, you notice, if anybody's played the, the full Metal Gear Solid franchise, you, rec you recognize the moment he gets shrapnel in his head, you're like, okay, well, how is this going to work? Because Big Boss Senior does not have shrapnel sticking out of his head. That's true. On the timeline of Metal Gear Solid 4. That is true. You were a guy that was designed to look like him and play the part and be convinced that you were him. 
so that you could re- so that big boss could remain in hiding and do things in the background. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, well, real quick, we have quite a few, uh, quite a few chats up in here. Yeah. Um, Face off or Ted p- Bundy. I mean, Zach Efron. <laughs> <laughs> the pan I wanna, man. I just want to know for sure. Um, so Gerard says Norman Reedus and the funky fetus has a lot of big actors in the cast. Is that a real movie? It's Gerard. It's no. I'm going to have to Google it now. You, I'll, I'll tell you what. You Google it. I'll take over the comments. Yeah, you guys got me. Right, um, let me tell Google you. Google just completed my search for me. So. Oh, is it real? <sighs> Anyways, as you're looking. Um, <laughs> oh, dude, Ruitu, it's about Death Stranding. <laughs> Ruitu can do. It's literally another name for Death Stranding. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, it makes all the. Mo- oh, my God. It makes <laughs> sense now. All right. Okay. All right. Um, Ruitu. You've heard of Norman Reedus and the Funky Fetus. Now get ready for Guillermo and Mads, the Freaky Dads. <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. Ruitu. I'm getting to your comment now. Finally. Sony can do PS5 giveaway. It will be cheaper than E3 booths and generate more clicks. Okay. Yeah. That's true. Mm-hmm. Uh, Juke W. What's up? How are you? I did not see you join earlier i apologize how dare you how welcome dare you welcome to uh nip fest 2019 um he says i'm surprised morgan May nip fest Mo- 2019. Thank <laughs> morgan you. freeman is not in death stranding he's <laughs> e- everywhere <laughs> this is very true this <laughs> is very true um so my my brother's watching this on facebook right now and he said the sims vr stuck in the closet dlc <laughs> <laughs> there's meaning no, there's meaning behind this because when I was 12 and the Sims came out my brother was explaining the premise of Sims and I didn't look I didn't look like that um I didn't look that enthused to be playing I'm like okay I'm like so what's so special about it he's like well I was playing it for like a couple hours and then I locked two people into a closet and I made them become lovers and then they starved to death I was like when can I play <laughs> <laughs> when can I play yeah you know, I was like okay and then I ended up realizing like Probably like 25 hours into The Sims. Like, I'm literally just doing things that I will eventually do in real life. <laughs> oh, <laughs> So what? I stopped playing. Hold I'm on. Like, I'm going to go live life now. I'm never coming know. over. Hey, Wesley, go in this <laughs> closet real quick. Hey, man, check out this new spacious walk-in closet. <laughs> I just lock, latch. Hello? Hey, who's this guy in there? Your new boyfriend. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, oh, bruh. <laughs> bruh. Um, oh, hey, James. Bart Van D- <laughs> 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 that took, that took you some time. <laughs> um, Bart Van Doom, am I the only one thinking Joe Mundy looks like the Sega Master System game's final boss? Sega Master System game? There's a Sega Master System game? Now I gotta look for this. While he's looking on that for you, Bart, uh, the Pan Man 0226, I'd love to stay longer, but I gotta get a nap for work. Remember. Okay. Mm. Thank you for that that helpful advice. You I gotta mean. find out the game for me, Bart. I'm gonna look it up because I I played a lot of the Sega Master System when I was a kid, so I need to know. Okay. Like, is it Fantasy Star? Afterburner? Ooh. We're waiting. Ooh, we are. Hipcon 2019. Ruitu, it rubs the lotion on its skin, or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, is it pretty sad if I've recited that? I've recited that line already within the last 24 hours. <laughs> I feel like that needs to be a GIF. People like sh- making GIFs of out of me. You should be in my Discord. That's all they do. Is it l- literally what it is? Like a Discord? They just make fun of you all the time? You yes, they skin. do. I think you can handle it. They do. Okay. So hey, Dubs, it rubs the lotion on the nips. Don't tease me with a good time. Okay. Um, I mean, <laughs> so real quick though, I don't think we told anybody how to win this horseman. Oh, there's a link, and you click on it, right? I'm gonna take over this one here, Joe. <laughs> all right, if you want to win this beautiful statue, okay, right now, all right, maybe comes with nips who knows um so all you have to do is click the link in the chat 
Um, and two ways to enter. It's very simple. Which E3 conference are you the most excited for? So we have Bethesda, EA, Nintendo, I'm Microsoft. Invite, I'm excited for the Joanne Fabrics con conference. I want to know what kinds of... You just fabrics. killed my thunder. You didn't have any... Did he I had it? thunder! You had none. Yeah, thighs, fatty. Listen here, okay? <laughs> Listen, you beautiful people. Go ahead and click the link. Tell us which E3 conference you are most excited for, and be sure to follow us on Twitch so you can be notified every time. Come see our beautiful faces every Friday at what time, Joe? 3 o'clock. Not always on the dot, but close to it. Close, very close at 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Um, again, we are giving away a horseman. All right, so go ahead and What's the horseman's name? Horseman. No, let's call him Dirk. Oh. Well, we're going to give Dirk to you. Yeah, come get Dirk. It'll be it'll be signed. <gasps> we should sign it. You want to sign it? We should sign it. We're gonna sign the horseman. We are going to Wesley sign. Wesley demands it. that we sign the horseman. You know, we're, uh, Wesley's we're... gonna sign his portion of the horseman though with his nips. That's very true. Okay. So it's gonna be a, a nip nature. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a dubs. Uh, that was the last time. I will stop now. Thank you, a dubs. Okay. Uh, Juke W <laughs> says Sony. I vote Sony too. D I do. Okay. Sony is responsible for a majority of my most you favorite know, we, childhood memories. Love, okay, you know what? Resident Evil, Destruction Derby, Rayman. This is true. <gasps> Twisted Metal. Oh, dude, Twisted Metal. Oh, my God. The way that game ran on the Sony PSX Classic oh. was the reason why I returned it. <laughs> Did I ever tell you that? Let me know. Yeah. I bought it for Casey for Christmas. Oh. It was the first game he wanted to play. It ran like utter poop. Oof. So I took the poop back to the pail where it belonged. Sony. And it's so crazy, too. The reason why the Sony, Cla the PSX Classic, for those of you that don't know, the reason why it didn't work out very well was because they were using uh, ROMs on an emulated system that is their own system, which I don't know why they would use emulation. But the ROMs they were using were for the PAL region and not NTSC. Mm hmm. And so it wasn't running at a full 60 frames per second. It was running at like half frames. So it was like 35 frames per second, and it ran like junk. And I remember saying to Casey, like, do you remember PlayStation games running like crap like this? Because I don't. And if so, man, if things evolved. And no, sure enough, it was Sony being lazy. <sighs> Silly Sony. Um, Alien and I... about the oh, Simpsons yet? What about I the was Simpsons? Just, well, they're uh, making an appearance at E3. The Simpsons. Yes. All right. So now, I really like to. I don't know, Joe. We have to wait until. Explain next it. Week. Explain the Simpsons. Okay. How a cartoon's gonna be there on Sp stage? I'm they've had a you, dude. You know. They've had a crap ton of games. Okay. It's the Simpsons. They're everywhere. They know everything. They know the future. Okay. Yeah. What about the Final Fantasy VII remake? That will not be there. Un well, actually, no. It's a lie. Cause Square Enix. All right. Look. Alien Icon is pretty much doing the stream for us. I, hey, I we invited you. Yeah, you wouldn't come on. We invited you. You could be wouldn't here. Wouldn't do it. You could be here. There is no release date for the Final Fantasy VII. Remake. But let me tell you, they, uh, we're not even at Square, Square Enix. They're gonna Square. announce. They're gonna announce a release date for Final Fantasy VII. And let me tell you, I they they showed some gameplay and a new trailer, and I was like, oh. But dude, it pisses oh me off. It's, it's gonna be an episodic release. I don't care. I do. Give me the full game. Oh. Just like they did in 1997. Just give me the damn game, the whole game. Give, throw it at me, all over my face, <laughs> all over it. I don't even care. That's what Gerard says on Fridays. <laughs> um. <clears throat> so today, so, <laughs> at the bar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a Dub says Simpsons Road Rage Two when? Yeah. No, let me stop you right there. Hit and run two when? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Final Fantasy Seven remake release date will be July seven, twenty seventy seven. Speaking of twenty seventy seven and Microsoft, for the love of God, let me get through this. I love you, Joe. <clears throat> okay, I'd like to talk about Microsoft. Okay. Has anger issues. <sighs> Let's talk about Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, therapist for that. Okay. We are going to see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. Go ahead. Four CDPR, or CD Projekt Red, said this is the biggest E3 for them in the history of their company. Okay. Cyberpunk 2077 will not be coming out this year. Just let's accept 
the fates. Well, we already knew that, didn't we? But I do believe we will get a time frame. I'm thinking fall 2020. Why fall? Okay, when do you want? Summer? You want yeah, maybe, want maybe a little bit of winter action in I, there? I want a spring release. You know, that, that kind of does feel fitting. Bart, I'm looking at all these bosses on Decav Attack, and I can't find any that look like me. And I have a feeling at this point now that that was a pretty derogatory mark, and I'm just now catching on to you. You know what? All right. <laughs> Real quick. Uh, Rutu said, you should give him back his red line stapler before he burns down the office. <laughs> okay. I think that's more along the the, the Gerard lines. I mean, he is the one that I'm kind of scared of because he is. And then uh, Halo. Yeah, the, the punching Halo's going to be announced. Oh, no. Abs- they're going to have Halo Infinite there. I cannot wait. Um, <laughs> Alien Icon. Wesley, you sound like you're going to start. You're going to change your name to Kyle and start punching drywall soon. <laughs> Would you like a monster? I'm sure the real Kyle here can give you one. Oh, he has a stash. Oh, Don't you worry we, we, about we that. Just, we just need to make sure that he doesn't collect all Infinity Monsters. Because then all the drywall in the building is just going to disintegrate. This is a shout out. All right. So here we go. I will start punching walls, drywalls, profusely. Why not wet walls? Do you miss what I did there? I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> profusely. Profusely. Okay. Profusious say. Drywall not last a human um, fist. Ruitu. Oh, real quick, Adub said, Master Chief Collection is the only thing that matters. Um, it's going to be very fun. I'm so excited that it's coming to Steam, which we're going to dive into for a few minutes. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, so I really want to run through these real quick. Um, Recon, Par- Recon Spartan said, Halo PC first look. He did post the link. I will definitely check that out. Um, he said, you're welcome. Ruru2 said, Q1 2020 in regards to Cyberpunk 2077. Mm-hmm. Um, Six Kitty said, chug down some monsters, too. We'll get on that. Um, wow, Duke look, w- you just blast through all these comments like you're just checking a box. Hey, what? You got to talk. To th- you got to massage the people. Half of these comments have been sitting for five minutes because you're over here flustering me. Flust- oh, I thought you were going to say something else. No. You need a rub? Need a rub? I can rub you. <laughs> um Viber Let Demon says that Duke you. 1 and 2 and Duke Nukem 3D, that he wouldn't mind those being ray traced, and I couldn't agree more. I agree. Duke Nukem, they need a proper Duke Nukem reboot. I because wish. Forever was fun, but it was it was overdone. They they The one review that I read that it made sense, like you took something that was satirical from the 90s, and then you just kept with that same satire style from the 90s, and it didn't make sense. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, yeah. Did you see Duke Nukem just like, Blasting down doors with a shotgun and just go, bruh. Bruh. You know I mean? <laughs> hey, baby. Bruh. Real I mean, quick. Not? Game changer. Shake it, baby. <laughs> Game changer it. from Rua 2. Aren't they doing a John Cena Duke Nukem movie? <laughs> oh, my God. What? I would cry. No way. I would cry. No way. Uh uh. No way. Uh uh-uh. uh. Nope. Don't believe it. Don't believe it. Duke Nukem movie adds Assassin's Creed producer. Oh. No. Why? That movie almost killed Michael Facebander's career. Just almost destroyed it entirely. Oh, yeah. Poor John Cena. He was a great actor while he lasted. It was great. He'll pull I mean, it I hope off. he gets the role because he'd be perfect for Listen it. Listen here, negative Nancy. He will pull it it's off. It's Nate. My oh. name is Nate, sir. What's he going to pull off? Duke at Nukem? <laughs> That's what my, my mom used to call Duke Nukem. You're not going to play that Duke at Nukem game. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I won't play Duke at Nukem, but I have this other game called Duke Nukem. <laughs> Got him and ran to his bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Duke W and apparently a lot more games. Naughty Nate. A lot more Microsoft games six, six, will be six. available on Steam. Now, Joe, we can discuss Steam and Microsoft. So, <coughs> Are they in bed? They're about to be. They're going to make sweet, luscious Microsoft Steam babies. I like how he said luscious. It makes it feel like they're going to be plump and filled with juices. Maybe. What kind of juices? Savings. (laughs) 
Savings. Savings juices. Lord Gaben, bless us with your presence. <laughs> um, so, uh, they are revamping the Xbox Live Game Pass, mm-hmm. and it's simply called the Xbox Live Game Pass. Mm. Um, That's real simple. I but like the reason that. they wanted to keep it because they wanted to keep their branding. All right, 100% understand that. Uh, so it's going to be very PC based. So at this, I, I would assume at this conference. Um, so uh, for a while, Phil Spencer has really voiced his opinions on giving people the option to play these games where they want to play them. And Adub thinks Xbox Live is big stink. You're a big stink. I'm not the one that said it. So why are you insulting okay. me for somebody XBL else's comment? That's is, just rude, man. Because XBL is life. All right. Exibble is so, not life. There was life before Exibble. What did you do before Exibble? Play Ultima? No. I didn't have anything before XBL. Oh. oh. You know, back in the day when I would need to, when I would want to play multiplayer, there were actually DOS servers that you would run, and then you dial into dial up on the same IP and. Join the lobby, and you know, then your mom would pick up the phone while you're in the middle of a death match in Doom, and you're frustrated because you were actually beating your older brother, which never happens. That's what there was before Xbox Live. Alien Icon said Joe is so old. <laughs> Agreed. Just you say this like I don't already know. Look, all right. I, I, you, you blow my mind. I'm old. Yeah, I mean, you're younger than me. Barely. No, you're not. How old are you? I'm 25. Okay, I'm 31. Wow, 31. Six years. Six years. Yeah, so when I was six years old and I could use my legs, you were still, you know... Let me... No difference at all, right, though? <laughs> well, back on the nip train here. <laughs> Maybe that's that's where it stems from. Just all saying. I'm saying is you have two kids. I have two kids. He has a window made of a glass. I have a window made of a glass. He's a pain in my assholes. <laughs> I have Glock Radio. He can't afford Glock Radio. A big success. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we need to get Gerard on. So we could just, we should just dress Gerard up as Borat <laughs> and try and talk to him about like just tech, just anything, PCs, phones, TVs. Why not? He's got to have the wig and the mustache. Uh, he's got the mustache right now. Yeah. And it needs to go. <laughs> what is this? What kind of dog is this? <laughs> is this a, a turtle cat in a shell? <laughs> is it a cat in a hat? No, it's a turtle in a shell. <laughs> <laughs> and what is this? Cheese. And this? More cheese. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> uh, A-dubs said, back in my day, we called our friends the N-word. Okay. From, from the same room because there was only split screen. <coughs> Listen, sir, I do not condone that. Um. <laughs> no, 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 but what he's saying is people say that now because your states or countries away and like there's nothing you can do about it. That's true. Okay. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> can we please? It's Jot. Welcome. Yellow. Welcome. Yeah. Um. I mean, he's got a point. Because that kind of like trash talk didn't exist back in the day, because most of the time it was coming from within the same households. If you ever said any like some really outlandish, outlandish things, you're probably gonna get punched in the face. Yeah, no. So when I lived, so it wasn't even to my friends. It was, it was to my friends. So when I when I still lived with my mom, okay, and I'd be playing games, you know, and I'd be you know f this, f that, and you know, the whole the whole nine yards. Well, you know. You know how we are off off stream. Oh so. um, no, I, I I don't curse at all. I don't believe in it. <laughs> Please don't believe this man. Um, it's a very <clears throat> bad thing to do. Is your bad mouth... bad role models for my children? Is your okay? I mean, at work. Excuse me. Oh, I'm done with. I have the the Please, worst mouth I've said I'm done with you probably. like a million times, and I'm I'm not done with you. I'll never. Be hey, I just admit it. I probably have the worst mouth out of anybody here. That's debatable. And who do you think has the worst mouth? I'm on that spectrum. You sure? Yeah. I don't know, dude. I don't know if you really want to go there. And I, I'm not saying that as far as integrity goes, but I love my job. Please don't. I mean, I love my job, too. <laughs> All right. But I'm just saying. Is debatable. Nintendo doing anything at E3? Did you already talk about that? I need a new Switch game. Uh, no, I, Nintendo is also on no, the same they boat do, as Sony. Well, they do a direct. 
So it'll be in the E3 week. I don't think Sony has any association with E3 at all. They did come out um, with Final Fantasy XII recently, which you hold already on. know, Alien Icon. Hold on real quick, though. Animal Crossing. Is that actually coming to the Switch? I don't know, but it there's so many rumors, and I'm telling you the Nintendo fan base <laughs> would lose their freaking mind. Alien Icon hasn't even finished the new Pokemon game for the Switch. And apparently... Alien Icon hasn't even played The Last of Us. All right, biting, nope. off, biting off more than you can chew. They're also coming out with uh, Crash Team Racing. Oh my God! Mm-hmm. Sonic Racing, which <gasps> you know what? Uh, well, you know what we could do? <sighs> we should Gosh. have. We should get Sonic Team Racing, Crash Team Racing, not Sonic. I don't know why I said Sonic. Embarrassing, awkward. Uh, Crash Team Racing. We should get it. You bring your PlayStation Four. I bring my PlayStation Four. We get like eight controllers, all right? Why not five? It... Do you want to have a tournament at work? Is that what you want to do? What I'm saying what is, at? okay, We on a Friday, we all clock out. We, pl- we play Crash Team Racing for like a, an hour or so and just have a good time, Joe. Why do you want him to zoom in on our nose? What's wrong with our nose? I don't Aww. understand. I'm really self-cautious about my nose, and then when you bring it up, I get all nasally. And then I can't concentrate anymore. Is that so? <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me more. You just sound really constipated when you talk. It's real up here. You're like tight in the vocals. You're like, ah! Just gotta relax it a little bit. Who, like me? This. Yeah. Bit, you got you gotta talk you, you like gotta it. talk like you're real daisily and like you can't clear it. That that's how you gotta talk. <laughs> Sounds like you're gonna ask me to eat this uh this strip here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna go on a trip? Do you wanna dude? have a bad trip? Because that's how you have a bad trip. <laughs> you should have pizza before you French fried. <laughs> I don't even want to know what that means. <laughs> Adam said Bob Belcher. Is that you? <laughs> Is that from Bob's Burgers? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want your burger halfway done or do you want it well done? Because that's how you ruin burgers. <laughs> I've never watched that show. I've heard it's hysterical. It's good. It's really confusing, though, because there's a person there with a woman's name, but it's a boy. Or it's a boy's name and it's a girl. There's... There's Tina, who is literally, yeah, Tina, yeah. So Tina is voiced by By a male male actor. actor. Okay. Um, all right. So is Linda, which is the mother. Tina, let me tell you, all right. By far the best character on that show. Yeah. See, I wanted to start watching it just to get into it. It's on Hulu. It is on Hulu. We finished. So Casey finished. uh, Last season before current season of Archer. And it was really short. And I didn't think it was that great. Like, I watched the first three episodes to try and get into it. And it's like, I get what they're trying to do. Because before they started doing all these themed Archer seasons, like, he was supposed to die. So yeah. the theory is now that he's in a coma. Oh. Apparently. I've never watched Archer, to be honest with you. Do you want to watch Archer? I mean, I'm always down. It's yeah. It's I mean, I'm not really giving any spoilers. It's just it gets to the point where you can tell like the creative artists behind writing What's the storyline. They were like, we're running out of things to do, so they like damn near killed him, and they imply that, and then they came out with the new season, and now they're all like, it's all the same cast in Archer, but they're themed seasons now. Okay. Like the last one, they were in a jungle. The time before that, um, I can't remember what it was to be honest with you, but. Wasn't Archer in Limbo for a while, or am I thinking of a different show? Yeah, I know Archer is Bob's Burgers. Like the guy the guy that no, does the yeah. voice for Archer. Oh, but she's saying Archer is better than Bob's Burgers. Yeah. I agree. Um, Alien Icon said, Archer is amazing. The new season just premiered. Yeah. 1987 or something. Okay. Right? Uh, what? 1987 for what? It's it's that's what it's called. It's like Archer 1987 or something like that. Cause it's in space. Oh, why would it be 1987? I don't know. Let me see. Archer 18 or something. Let me see. It's, it's got numbers in it. Adub said he's not a TV guy. Um, and then it's Jot said who owns a T who owns TVs anymore. So I I don't watch a lot of TV. Um, the only time I really actually watch TV is. 
Probably when I'm going to bed. So I put on King of the Hill and just wind down. So that means if you have it on a channel that is King of the Hill, uh, you wake up with an infomercial like four in the morning. No, I put it on Hulu. Oh. I put it on <laughs> it's Hulu. Archer 1999. Okay. All right. That's what it's called. A dubs quit flexing on me over here, okay? Right. Says I have like five TVs, four monitors, two laptops, three PCs. Wow. So he's a hacker. He's with the syndicate. Now we know. <gasps> Makes sense. Um, Bart says that he has to apologize and he was wrong. And then I wasn't a boss in a Sega game. His belly was the hero uh, for Decap Attack on Sega Genesis for US folks or Mega Drive. Okay. His belly was the hero. His belly. His big belly. It's a hero. Cool. So back to E3 real quick. I don't want to. I do. Okay. All right. Well, when do you want to start? Right now. Okay, go. So Square Enix, Final Fantasy VII, get the first episode gets its first uh, release date announced. I just hate that you said the episode. I'm yeah. sorry. I, I got to be I don't blame be honest. You. I, I don't blame you. I blame Gerard. Same. Okay. Um, and then, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Avengers, the game. Not Before, my hopes up. you know what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying to be realistic about this. You know what? No, listen, you are killing my thunder. You're killing my hopes and dreams. All right, Larry King, calm down over there. Turn into me. I mean, I'm not like sitting here with my shoulders all stocky and and giving you questions to build you up to think that you know what you're talking about. I just want I to don't know what I'm talking about. I, I said I'm not doing that. I'm mean, calm down, <sighs> calm your T's, mind your P's, okay? The nips are not happy. Rub the right nips now. if you need to. Clearly, you're a man that's in withdrawal of, of nip rubbing. <laughs> So it's all gonna no, be okay. I'm a man that is very <laughs> flustered over here because anytime I talk about something that I'm very excited about, you go, Meh, no, <laughs> that's my life. Garbage. Oh, this is my life. Ray tracing <laughs> effects on The Witcher. <laughs> Shut up, that's trash, Wesley. <laughs> oh, the Avengers, the freaking Avengers. Are you saying that Zach didn't cry this much? <laughs> You know what, A-Dubs? So are you all saying right. that he's more emo than Zach? Because I find that very hard to believe. My favorite band of all time is Blink-182, okay? <laughs> Alien Icon, Joe has become me. I blame you for this tyranny. <sighs> I just think you like to see me get flustered. I do. I enjoy it. I'm a masochist. What do you want from me? Raining on everyone's parade, says Alien Icon. Peeing in everybody's Cheerios, even if they aren't Cheerios. Sorry, go ahead. I'll let you be excited. Be excited. Much excited. Such excite. Go ahead. Sorry. I hope this game's freaking phenomenal. So do I. Okay. And I hope you play it. And I hope you cry. All right. And I hope I hear the same story that I did about when you saw a Endgame. Why? Why would you hope that on me? Like I'm. I'm because not saying that I don't like these things. Let to me hurt tell you. You're you. Just getting hurt as a result. Let me tell. Hold that on. Me? Because. All right. Somebody will have my back when they see you crying. Over the game, and they will down you. I'm not going to cry over the game. Lies. No. No, no, no. There was only one game as of recent that I teared up on, and it was Resident Evil 2. When you see the gun shop owner's daughter come out, and you're just like, you oh, man. Up. Yeah. Have you played Red Dead Redemption 2 yet? No. I'm waiting for it to come out on PC if that oh! ever happens. <laughs> <sighs> Rue 2 says play all the small things on repeat. Oh, that... Is the theme song for Gerard, let me tell you. <laughs> you you know, you say enough about Gerard to where I'm starting to wonder how you know all this. Because you know? Gerard has no filter and he just comes out and says things. So he's told you that I'm I, I I've got anatomically correct problems. Is that what you're saying? I have heard it come out of his mouth, yes. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm sure he probably didn't want you to repeat that live on air for all to hear. What if his hubby's watching right now? His hubby? Well, he married him for something. It might not be that, but <laughs> <laughs> something. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh-huh. Are, oh are we at that point now? I think we're at that point. I think we're at that point. Guys, 
Thank you for joining us and talking about some E3 predictions and really just lollygagging the lollygag out of here. So we'll be back here on Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or close to it. Again, enter our giveaway by clicking on the link that's in the chat. Vote on what your favorite conference is going to be. Like and subscribe on the channels that are provided. And win yourself a horseman. A horseman. So long, guys, and have a great weekend. Goodbye. Bye.